We had uh, uh, an abstract on that uh, in this year's uh, EHA. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, relapse is uh, quite common in patients with a 33 uh, positive AML. And unfortunately, uh, the outcome is not so good in the uh, era before uh, targeted uh, treatment. So there is an unmet clinical need to help these patients and give them more options after a uh, transplant uh, if they relapse. We're very happy to have novel drugs in this area too. And uh, we're waiting for uh, approval after allosinic transplant uh, to use FLU3 inhibitors in these patients. Uh, we're part of clinical trials in this field. Uh, we know that these drugs are safe and effective in, uh, in, uh, di during diagnosis of the patients and we believe that they can help us uh, during the relapse too. We have to consider always that uh, these are heavily pretreated patients that uh, cannot have a real benefit from chemotherapy since they already had chemotherapy, allogeneic transplant, and then unfortunately they relapsed. So we need uh, novel biological therapies, which we have now uh, in our clinical practice, and we're very happy to expand their use in patients after allogeneic transplant.